Okay, hello everyone. I am going to make a soap today called Turmeric, Carrot and Sea Buckthorn Berry. Um, before I start though, I want to quickly get your attention and um, make a quick plug for a new, basically a new YouTube channel that I'm starting called Mirage. And I will leave the links below. It's a completely new soap making channel. Um, and like all of Leaf and Honey, it just showcases what I do, how I make soap and um, you know, it's kind of just like highlighting the business basically. It's not a how-to or tutorials, neither is all of Leaf and Honey to be honest. Um, but it's kind of like a nice insight into, you know, soap making uh, and the soap making that I particularly do. But Marad, well, all of Leaf and Honey, it's all about kind of natural essential oils and herbal additives and everything that's natural. Um, within Mirage, it's, I mean, I'm going to be using essential oils as well and um, additives and, you know, really good kind of nourishing oils, but I'm also going to give myself the freedom to use fragrance oils, which I have never done before within Olive Leaf and Honey. It's just simply not part of the ethos and the brand. Um, I'm also going to be using Mika's and that gives me a wee bit more kind of scope to use, like, you know, f f just for design and like making more colourful soap. So, and it's something I've been going to do for quite a while. Um, so yeah, I think it'd be quite interesting for me because I do like being creative and um, when it's all natural, it's quite restrictive in terms of the scents you can use. Um, and I prefer all natural, I'm going to be honest, I love essential oils, I always love essential oils first. But I do occasionally like some of my fragrance oils, and I have played about with them in the past. And some of them are really good. Well, the, one of the worst things about fragrance oils is that they just, they're very unpredictable and they can like accelerate soap, and I hate that. But I've been doing a lot of test batches, and I am quite happy with the things, the, the way things are kind of progressing with Mirage. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in that, I know a lot of you probably won't be because you like the natural stuff. But if you are interested in that, then just have a look if you'd like to. Okay, so I am going to start now with my soap. Okay, so, okay, let me start with the super fat first because this is the main ingredient going into the soap. This yummy, yummy stuff. Is basically a mixture of raw organic cacao butter. It's and then this has my raw or well not just raw organic cold pressed sea buckthorn oil, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous orange colour, and also organic cold pressed carrot oil. This is not macerated carrot oil, so it's not like carrot just mushed up and then macerated into or sunflower oil or, or um, olive oil. It's actually like cold pressed from the carrot flesh. They both smell so nice. I can't I can't describe the smell. Usually cocoa um, butter overpowers everything. The smell of cocoa butter has got such a strong, especially raw cocoa butter, it's such a strong chocolatey smell that you can't smell anything else. But I honestly cannot smell the cocoa butter with this. The sea buckthorn and the carrot oil, and the carrot oil does not smell like carrots, this carrot oil smells, it actually smells quite similar to the seed buckthorn. It must be all the better carotene, I don't know. But it's really, really nice. I wish I could get this scent in a kind of fragrance oil or a, you know, in a, like a, in a scent I can use because this is not gonna, well, it's not gonna last. It's gonna fade when I like mix it in. Um, and the main base of the soap will have yogurt powder, organic turmeric powder. And over here, I have also got a bit of red reef clay and some red henna powder, which is what you well, um, use on your hair to give colour. It's very, very nourishing in other ways as well. And my essential oil blend is a mix of turmeric essential oil. It's also got blood orange bit of Witsia, a bit of geranium.
but that's about it i think i've introduced everything and i'm just going to start and just forward the uh, forward the film thing Okay guys, sorry for the shaky cam. I had to turn the camera off because I needed to get the mould up against the wall. The soap thickened very quickly, a lot more quicker than expected considering um, both my oils and my lye were cold. They've been pre-blended for, um, well the lye was pre-blended this morning and the oils have been actually pre-blended for a couple of days so I'm not sure. I think the ingredients that I'm using, like termite can heat up the soap. Um, maybe that's what's caused it to like thicken up but I didn't attempt to do a swirl inside I just put the layers in because if I attempt to do a swirl when it's this, um, when it's this thick it's just going to create air pockets and not look very nice so I'm just going to leave it as is I've tried to make like a kind of texture top on the top and um, I will show you what it looks like when cut. Hopefully it's not ugly. <laughs> um, I do like my swirls, but hey ho. Hello everyone. So I'm just about to cut the turmeric, carrot and sea buckthorn soap. It's turned out nicer than expected. I really, I really like the look of this and I don't know if I'm, and if you remember, I was mentioning that it had um, the sea buckthorn and the carrot oil that used as a super fat had the most amazing smell. And I kid you not, I think I can still smell that. And that's very, very rare because scents like that you'd put at the start that are not fragrance oils. Like if you put in like, if you use coffee as your lye water, and that's got a very strong scent. That won't survive, and cocoa butter, the scent of cocoa butter that's very chocolatey, that won't survive through saponification. But this has, and it's strange I've not picked up on it before because in my test batches, this scent came out. I, I only used um, the I, I did a test batch of this, but the fragrance oil I used was just a combination of sweet orange and pink grapefruit, and that was it, with a bit, bit of turmeric. And it smells similar, and I just thought that was the that's how the blend came out of the two citrus oils, but it's definitely, definitely got that sea buckthorn um, scent to it, and that's really, really cool because the scent is amazing. It's so, honestly, it's really, really nice. I can't describe it. It's got that musky, earthy scent, that sweet, but definitely something that you'd find in your garden. It's really, really nice. 
I just hope it's okay when I cut into it because I didn't get any swirls in. It's just like a layer. I think it's going to be like a tiger stripe. I'm not sure. But we'll see. So you saw what happened there. The soap has really hardened up and I honestly am a bit flummoxed. I don't know why. This is my olive oil base. Um, the base recipe is like predominantly olive oil and, the, and this soap of mine never gets hard. I mean this is only two days after it's been made. I can usually wait a week sometimes before I cut this because of the high um, soft oil content. But I don't know, maybe because of the fact that, the so I mean, the soap didn't seize though, it just really thickened up quickly. But I don't know why it's hardened up so, so much. Um, I get this with my coconut oil base, my 100% coconut oil base. Um, it can happen and when I kind of know then it's probably best to use a single wire cutter on it. But this one, I <laughs> um, do not know what's happened, but... It's a bit annoying because when it goes through halfway and you come and it, you have to take it back out again, it leaves these kind of um, marks. But I've actually got a what do you call it? Not a beveler, the planer. I've got a planer now, so if this is left any marks, I'm just gonna have to use that. Let's really make it straight. Okay, so <laughs> a bit abstract. Oh, that smells coming through so fresh now. Very nice. I like that colour. I thought the red henna would kind of go a more browny shade. The way matcha does. Matcha powder, when you use it, goes like a dark brown. That's actually kept its green shade, which is quite nice. Let's have a look at a few more. Not my usual type of soap. No swirls. But it's nice, I don't I don't mind it. 